Hey, guys. <laughs> okay, so I might have to make this a series, but I don't know. But um, I'm going to show you something. Uh, this is like another video of the salt. So let me move my character out of the way, okay? So I got wrecked, okay, playing Plague. Um, I have an archive right here. Uh, where I have to make the survivor scream 44 times. And, and uh, so, you know, I just put on, you know, distressing with pain resonance and infectious fright, you know, because all of these revolve around survivor screaming. Distressing is just there because it works good with infectious because, you know, uh, whenever you down a survivor or any other survivor in your terror radius, you know, will scream. So if you have a bigger terror radius, you know, it's a wider range. Pain res will make them screen if they're on a generator um, after you hook somebody on a skirt hook. And surveillance works well with pain res because it'll show you the the uh, the generator that got hit with the skirt hook. So, yeah, that's basically with my build. Um, and these auto autons just makes it where uh increases the effectiveness of my my purge, you know, my my power, um, make them sicker faster, and just you know decreasing the cooldown so that way I can you know basically use my power more often. Anyway, so let me explain to you what happened in this game. Okay, so I'm going against you know some pretty strong pretty strong survivors. Um, they got a really good map. They got map Ormond, and I'm not really good with plague either. So um. So this Dwight, okay, you know, uh, he's got head on, quick and quiet, you know, and then he runs, you know, he's got self care, blah blah, leader, you know, this is build, his build is right here, as you can see. Um, so he managed to get a really good head on stun on me. I didn't expect him to. Uh, oh, and they left. Okay, cool. Anyway, gives me time to talk. Anyways, <clears throat> so. So, yeah, so he managed to get a really good head on with uh, Stun because he tricked me with Quick and Quiet at one point, which, you know, I didn't realize he had. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, it's fine. You know, really good play. Um, I'm getting stomped. Like, these survivors are really good. I can't really catch them. They're good at dodging my vomit, you know. So what happened was I got – somebody kept cleansing, so I got my, my red puke, which, if you don't know um, – uh, your red puke or your red vomit basically makes it where you can injure the survivors, but you can't infect them with plague. Um, but it does like one point of damage and it shoots pretty far. Um, so yeah, so somebody kept, you know, cleansing their plague or whatever. And, um, so I go in there, I get my, I get my pool of devotion, which is where, you know, your red, your red puke comes from, um, when somebody cleanses and I find this Dwight, um he's at one generator close to shack and uh it's almost done you know i hook somebody you know my pain res is like and my surveillance is like oh you know somebody's over here so i find him over there um now at this point this is where the generator is almost done okay he um he taps the generator so my surveillance is like yellow so you know i look around and i'm like oh okay so you know in case you didn't know surveillance basically makes the generator that got damaged when it's regressing, it turns white. But when the regression stops, it turns yellow for, like, a couple seconds, letting you know, like, hey, you know, somebody touched this generator even though it was aggressing. Anyway, my point is, I'm going over there to his generator. It's almost done because um, it got hit with pain res. And so I go over there, you know, looking for him. I find him. He loops me pretty good around uh, this one really strong pallet. And... um. I lose track of him. And at this point, this is where I find him. Um, well, he hits me with the, the head on. That's when I found out that he has it because he tricked me with the, the locker thing. And I was like, oh, I was like, okay, so you have head on. Um, mind you, my I have one of my pools of devotion that's red, my corrupt purge. It's red. And um, so I get that. And uh, I managed to hit him. You know, I chase him down. You know, he gets uh, he gets down and the main building if you guys know what ormond looks like the main building is like super strong but yeah but uh he he like gets hit and then he runs up you know i down him there and i hook him blah 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 whatever he tries to get himself off the hook and goes into second phase okay now i don't tunnel him out or nothing i go for other people after i hook him um i did manage to hook i think it was uh 
I think it was a Quentin. Yes, it was a Quentin. Okay. So I hooked the Quentin. I managed to hook him. And at this point, I'm only at one gen. And I only have, like, four hooks. So I'm like, okay, you know, they're they're really good. You know, I'm I'm losing generators left and right. Um, But, yeah. It's no big deal. <clears throat> so... So I'm on to the next one, you know, after I scourge hook, you know, the Quentin or whatever. Um, the next generator that was close to being done, my pain residents tell me, was uh the one at the killer shack. And I'm like, okay. Guess who's at the killer shack? It was the Dwight. The Dwight was at the killer shack. Okay. So, um so yeah, so he he does the little, you know, the gin tap thing and I find him in the locker. He's in the locker next to the window at the killer shack in the corner. And I'm like, okay. So I know he's in there because I saw a scratch marks leading to the locker. And I was like, Well, I already know what you have, so you're definitely trying to head on play me. So So he jumps in and out of the locker because like he well first he tries to stub me with head on he misses it because i back up just in time and then like he tries to go in and out of the locker as i'm shooting my red puke at him like i miss my red puke and then as soon as it cools down he's like going in out in out in out right and i managed to get the grab on him right as he's about to go back into the locker and basement is at shack so i hook him in basement and just because he tries to get himself off the hook he dies okay and then there was a michaela right next to uh she was in the shack um so i tried to chase her down but you know i lost track of her or whatever but um yeah at this point they just finished all the generators and uh i i just was like well you know this game's over so i'm just gonna go next so i go over and i open the door they get the other door or whatever i'm waiting for the end game and uh this is what happens so this dwight goes into chat right so the reason <clears throat> excuse me Sorry. The reason why I said stop it, I was trying to look at the scenery because there's a spot on Ormond where you can go into the main building and you can kind of like stand up on the balcony and like look out and stuff. And they were in this Quentin kept trying to flashlight blind me. So I was like, I was like just shooting my puke and I was like, hey, stop it. You know, like I'm trying to um, I'm trying to enjoy the the scenery here. The Dwight's like, let me show you the chat. Dwight's like you troll killer and i'm like question mark and i was like okay cool and he was like admit it and i'm like question mark question mark question mark how am i trolling explain i'm just trying to do an archive which i was and you can see right here i'm doing this archive right now and then he's like you picked a trollish killer and i was like i need to make survivor scream with trollish perks he says i, I picked a trollish killer with trollish perks and he was like, therefore, you are a troll killer. And I was like, okay, admit it. And I was like, I just I just was like, I'm going to put a little bit of honesty on there. I was like, you're just salty because you try to yeet or, or AKA unhook yourself. And then you're killing yourself in the progress. And I was like, then you get mad when I catch you because I did catch him. I caught him in a locker because he was trying to do the head-on stun and he missed it. And he was like, report it he's gonna report me for that i'm like okay go ahead i was like i didn't do anything wrong and he was like you did wrong i was like sure bud <laughs> he says i was harassing him i'm like question mark he's like therefore you are reported and i was like okay he was like goodbye troll and i was like see you mate ggs and then he's like learn to play better next time nope bad game and i'm like sorry that it was not a fun game for you good luck in the next game and then that's when the chat goes offline because the host of the lobby leaves yeah he's like learn to play better next time and i'm like <clears throat> okay i'm you're insulting me and i literally didn't say anything wrong i didn't say nothing out of the way i didn't insult you in any kind of way i didn't do anything i was just playing the game and trying to do an archive because i literally am trying to get this done which i'm almost done at this point uh, I just need to make people scream. Yeah, I know Doctor is probably a better pick for a killer for that, but I didn't want to play Doctor. I wanted to play Plague, and I wanted to do, you know, a little funsy build or whatever. You know, nothing serious. You know, if I lose the game, I lose the game. I don't really care. <clears throat> it's Dead by Daylight. It's a video game. Like, get over it, you know? One thing I'm not, do I'm not doing is I'm not a troll, for one thing. Um... For two, I don't really play Plague a whole lot. So she is 
for to me, she is probably one of the hardest killers that I have ever tried to play aside from Nurse. Nurse is the hardest killer or character in this entire game. But Plague is very like aiming you gotta do so much stuff like you gotta aim you know correctly you gotta know your range you, you gotta you know like people can easily go around corners you know dodge your, your power and all that um and then if they don't cleanse or whatever you know you're basically an m1 killer because your power your power at first they don't it doesn't do anything it just makes them you know become sick with infection and then just broken where they can't heal but other than that, you're just basically an M1 killer. And then when you've got big maps like Ormond or Irie of Crows, you know, which I had before this uh, this game, I had Irie of Crows when I was playing play. And, oh, my God, I got destroyed there, too. But I did manage to come back with a 2K. And they were cleansing like crazy. So I was constantly getting, you know, my, my I guess you could say it's an upgrade <laughs> to my power. But in any way, yeah, um... I literally didn't, I mean, if I said anything wrong, please let me know. But, I mean, according to this, this Dwight here, Johnny the Bravo, Johnny is Bravo. Let me look at your profile. Ah, oh, private, private profile, mm-hmm. Yep, I see that. <clears throat> yep, definitely. Yep, yep, yep. All right, well, according to him, I'm basically being a troll killer and I'm trolling and he's reporting me and I'm harassing him apparently. I don't know what he means by any of that because I, I did neither of those, but uh, you know, take it as what, what you will. I literally just asked the Quentin to stop trying to blind me with his flashlight because I was trying to look out into the into the scenery because Ormon is pretty, pre uh, very pretty <laughs> sorry about that um but yeah i literally just that's all i said i was just joking around and he tells me that but yeah so um that's gonna be it for this video though if you guys did enjoy you know leave your comments down below like i want to know what you guys think about it leave me a like and consider subscribing to my channel it would mean a lot to me and uh I think uh, I'm gonna, if you know, I'm definitely gonna record this, you know, um, make keep making videos like this the next time it happens again. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I think it's pretty hilarious too. So uh, yeah, but you know what? All good, bud. You know, GG's well played. Johnny is bravo. You know, good luck in your next game. Sorry, I was a troll, and I would, you know, I, I if I insulted you in any kind of way, I do apologize. I am so sorry, but uh. Take care. Good luck next time, you know, in your next game. Anyways, this has been drug out quite a bit, so I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Um, Like I said, you know, if you want to do some feedback, that'd be great. Cool. I love it. Appreciate it. All right, take care and have a good one. See you next time. Bye, guys.